Welcome to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series where we talk about Stage Central. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool, introduce the user interface and the editing capabilities. Stage Central is essentially a community for stage designers like you and me to be able to share and show off your stage designs that you've created. If you hit escape to go to the main menu and you click on Stage Central, you'll be able to see all the different types of stages there are in the system. And today we have a total of about 213 total stages that were created by multiple people. And this shows you a list of all the kinds of stages, uh, how popular they are, how many times they've been downloaded, the name, the scoring type, the target type, whether it's a short, medium, long course, number of paper, steel. And the reason for all these filters and sort capabilities is for you to very quickly identify or look for some suggestions for your matches. Let's say for instance, if I'm looking for long courses, stages that have a lot of round count, I can, you can sort this by round count. So if I click on this, it basically sort it in descending order from 48 down, or I can sort it by ascending order. And some of these are just uploaded by people who have no targets in here. Um, so you can obviously, if you don't like it, you can downvote it so that it will not appear in a list. So this is a handy tool. You can also uh, sort it out by stage name, uh, alphabetical order. You can sort it by downloads. If I want to see the most downloaded files uh, and the designers here, and you can also very quickly search by name or author. So let's say if I want to search uh, stages that I've created, I just type look and you'll see th that this is all sorted this way. And if I want to download it, all I have to do is just hit get. And so when you click on get, then do you want to download this stage and replace the existing design? I say yes. And now once it's downloaded, it will just replace my stage with all the props from the W stage. So then you can play around with this. You can look at the design. You can look at the written stage briefing uh, and you can simulate it if you like. And if you don't, if you, whether you like or don't like the stage, it's always recommended that you give feedback. So, and how you give feedback is by upvoting and downvoting your stage design. If you like it, just click here to upvote it, uh, and then it will be seen. And users can sort this by uh, the up and down votes. You can also send feedback to the you to the stage designer by clicking on this. And when you click on this, you can very easily just type your feedback to the creator. Say, hey, thank you for submitting your stage design. I think your stage would be better if you did blah and so forth. But please be civil and constructive because um, this is a community. We want to promote a healthy discourse. We also want to be, be able to provide good and a, and a con civil and constructive feedback to stage designers. So you can do that here as well, which I think is a pretty cool feature. So I urge you to uh, submit your stages here. So how do you submit the stage? Very simply, once you've designed a stage, you can click on submit stage here and you'll be uploaded in the system and you will, you will find it here. Uh, for most users, you have a maximum number of up, uh, 100 uploads. If you need more, if you hit the 100 limit, you can reach out to me in the Discord server and uh, I'll be able to change this number for you. I'll give you additional stages to upload. So that is Stage Central. This is a, a first start at building a community of stage designers and I hope you uh, benefit from this.